Okay, here we go. This is an image in a circle. Transparent background. Too easy. Let's just open a document with transparent background. You can see it there. It doesn't matter that I'm doing this on the iPad. You can do it on the Mac or the PC. And I'm just using any old document here. This will do. So let's open the document. There we go. I'll pinch it in a little bit so it's all one, one image on the screen. Now, easy as. Let's go find an ellipse. Now, drag out the ellipse. There we go. Might as well get it centered. Too easy. There we go, one ellipse. Now, let's go find the stock images down the right hand side here somewhere. There it is, stock. And we'll look for, um, what do we put in there? Okay, P-O-R-T-R-A-I-T, -R -R portrait, a portrait of somebody. There we go. Drag him across, put him in there. Now, he's obviously very big there, very large. We're on the move button. That's way too large for what we want. But that's all right, we'll fix that. There he is. Ah, oh, yes, you can see over there that it's way too large. Now, let's just drag him in there. He's in the circle. And we've still got him selected, so let's go to there, the Transform Studio, center the image, lock the image, and just drag, oh, that's too far, just drag it down, and put him in the center there. There we go, there's a nice image. Just touch the screen anyway, and there you go. You've got an image with a transparent background. How easy is that? That's all there is to it. I don't even know if I can make this any more difficult. Oh, there we go. Look at that. He's just below the circle. There we go. That's better. That looks better. Okay. Too simple.